about, sorry, we're talking about the phrase root mean square error and why it's called that. And we're working backwards to see that the error comes from finding these differences between y and y hat. That's the error. The square comes from squaring those differences right there. When you square them, that's why the square is in the phrase. And here we are with the word mean. Now, the mean is typically found by adding things up and dividing by how many there are, right? Do you see dividing in this formula? It's pretty clear that dividing is right here, right? That's a division bar. So dividing is in the problem, and you divide by n minus 2. n is how many items there are. We're dividing by n minus 2. The theory behind that is pretty statistically heavy. Why do you divide by n minus 2 and not n? What I read about this was you need to keep two of the data points in there to keep the line of best fit established. That may have gone over your head and it may have gone over mine. It's not that hard to go over my head because I'm so short. <laughs> okay, so um, they divide by n minus 2 because they leave two points in the data, let's say. The theory behind that would be discovered in a semester-long statistics course, and that's not what this is. So let's just accept the fact that it's n minus 2 and not just n. Sometimes you do divide by n here, but we're going to divide by n minus 2 throughout this class. All right? So that stays put. So remember, we're finding the mean, which is found by adding a bunch of stuff up and dividing by how many there are, less 2 in this case. But where do you see adding in the problem? Do you? Do you actually see a plus sign anywhere? The summation symbol. This symbol over here is called the summation symbol. It's the Greek letter sigma, and it stands for S, which stands for summa or summation, or hey, add this stuff together. That's what that sigma means. So sigma, I'll talk a little bit later about the I equals 1 to N, not right now, but this means add a bunch of stuff together and divide by N minus 2. Okay? Clear that up. Finally, working backwards, error, red, square, green, mean, black, root. Well, that's obvious. You take the square root. You take the square root, and then you get this number, this answer. It might be 4. It might be 18. It can't be negative. Excellent. It can't be negative. Doing this right there guarantees that it will be positive. And when you take the square root of something that's guaranteed to be positive, it will still be positive. So the root mean square error will always be positive, And it tells us overall how well the line fits the data.